and you, I mean, I think this year the songs are very good. Great. Yeah. I'm really looking forward. I think it can go anyway. I mean, I really, I'm looking forward to it. Oh, did you? No, it's second. Excellent. Excellent. Well, that's nice. Well, I hope, it, I, I just hope it goes well and I put in a good performance on the night. I think, I think regardless, I don't think anybody can lose once they do well in the night of seven. So really, that's how I feel. So I'm looking forward to it.
everyone lips, listens to like you have like a band from America that is being top number one so everyone listens to it you know you have a, a band from Spain or from France which is a different kind of music and everyone listens to it you know, it depends on the charts and it's dif difficult to tell <laughs> Tu représentes euh, la Suisse, le concours de représente la chanson. Oui. Est-ce que la chanson a été écrite spécialement pour ce concours Non, elle, avait, elle a été écrite euh, pour un album que j'ai fait au mois de septembre, mais on trouvait que c'était celle qui, qui était enfin la mieux pour le concours, en fait. Puis je trouve que c'est une chanson qui me présente bien. C'est la première fois que les gens me voient, alors ils me connaissent pour la première fois, donc je pense que cette chanson-là, c'est une bonne Comment s'est passée la sélection Parce que tu n'es pas suisse, tu es de... Non, non, je viens de Montréal, du Québec, ouais, ouais. Ah ben c'est une sélection à Zurich, on était huit concurrents et puis bon il y avait les trois langues français, euh, allemand, italien et puis bon ben j'ai été sélectionnée comme ça, ouais. on chantait un après l'autre, ben un peu comme ça là, c'est la même chose qu'on était moins de concurrents. Et, et puis sorti un album? Ben il n'est pas encore sorti mais il est fait, ouais ouais. ouais. <rires> beside her daughter or son's bed 
right before uh, the child is going to sleep and wondering uh, about how everything will uh, be in the future. Yeah. But this is not your first, uh, you did something with us. Third time. That's my third time, yeah. Second time in Ireland. Yeah. Thank you and uh, good luck. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Person, Tony, can you tell us a little bit about your, new, your, uh, your newest album? You're looking very well, Philip. Thank you. Very, very stylish. You too. Um, my new single, it's called Voices. It's dedicated to my father, and uh, it's a big choral song. Mm -hmm. I hope people enjoy it. Why are you not singing live tonight? No, because we had 122 kids on stage, and to keep them you know like for the length three hour length of the Eurovision and to put them on stage tonight I mean they were, they were getting tired as it was when you we did the song to do no idea okay. I have no idea what I'm doing I'm just here thank you you're welcome Hello. We are singing for Greece at the song contest. Yes. Can you sing us a little bit of the refrain of your song? Just a moment. Now, what the refrain of the song? Yeah, yeah. Hello. No. Ti mi nyama spesu rock tinali cifte teli. Pedia tu Platona ke tu Aristoteli. Mas kse gelane me segleti ke meraki. Pnev mathana to se troi to saraki. Do you like? Yes. Thank you. with feelings and so I think I uh, won the selection in Belgium because it's a simple song mm -hmm. and, and your father uh, is a very uh, famous singer in Belgium yes uh, in the 70s he was a very famous singer now he's singing uh, at uh, some places but not too much not mm -hmm. uh, so much anymore uh, but he's, uh, he supports me and he, he takes care of me and mm -hmm. it's important he participated in the Eurovision Song Contest. What? At the selection. Yes. For Belgium. What? In the, in the 60s. Yes, he was. Uh, it calls uh, Cansonissima in that time, but I, I wasn't born, <laughs> so I don't know very much of that. And your song is released in. Uh, in other countries, uh, Ireland, Norway. Here. How many languages? Uh, it's in English, um, Flemish then. 
Fran France, France, <laughs> and uh, German. Yes. Thank you very much, and all the best. You're welcome. Yes, we are. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about this election in Malta? What do you mean, this election? The uh, pre-selection. How it was? Yes. There was 122 songs to, to enter the Malta Song Festival. Mm -hmm. Then they chose 16. And from 16, then they chose 8. And from 8, I won. Mm -hmm. Is the song contest very popular in Malta? Very much so. Very much so. And why did you sing this year in uh, English? Because in Malta we've got two official uh, languages, which is English and Maltese, mm -hmm. and uh, we decided to sing it in English because it's an international language and everybody can understand the lyrics. Mm -hmm. And you as a composer and the author. I'm the composer, the uh, author, and the singer. And what's the title of the song? This time. Mm -hmm. I hope that this time you're going to win. <laughs> I hope so too. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>
dabei? Ja. Kannst du uns ein bisschen erzählen über deine Grand Prix Erfahrung? Du, es ist so, ich bin ja erst zum zweiten Mal dabei, es gibt Leute, die waren öfter dabei. Und wir hoffen natürlich auf einen Platz, der weiter vorne liegt. Ja, ich meine, es, ist, es hat sich nichts geändert, außer dass wir voriges Jahr in Schweden weniger Stress hatten durch die, durch die Reise. Wir, müssten, wir mussten jedes Jahr jetzt, jeden Tag von, vom Hotel in die Halle fahren und so. Das ist natürlich etwas anstrengend. Ja, du bist ja sehr bekannt in Österreich. Ja, schon. Ja. Ich war, wir, wir machen jetzt, wir, wir, wir produzieren gerade die erste CD. Ich, habe, ich mache bei TV-Shows, mache Comic-Shows. Das ist das erste äh, Album? Das ist mein erstes Bella is singing for Portugal the entry a cidade a tesadia. Is that true? Uh -huh. Can you tell us a little bit about your song? What uh, my song tells about the, the beauty of the city in the night, the nightfall in the city. It's um, what you could do in the in the city and the the things. Uh, Good, you know. In, in, in you participated in a lot of co uh, contests in yes, Portugal. I I was in po in uh, Poland, uh, Turkey. Mm -hmm. I I won the the second place, the second position in Turkey, and uh, in Holland the second position and the the, um, the prime no the the interpret performer. The best performer, yeah. We wish you all the best because it's a very, very good song. Thank you very much. <laughs> représente la France en Eurovision. Oui. Peut-être un peu nous parler de ma chanson. De ma chanson Mama Corsica. Oui. Mama Corsica, c'est une chanson personnellement que je trouve, je trouve super, super jolie, très, très belle. Et c'est une chanson qui parle d'une île qui est vraiment magnifique, qui, euh, qui a des habitants, où il y a des habitants fabuleux aussi. C'est la Corse. 
et la Corse c'est une île et je me retrouve ici sur une île aussi. Je m'appelle Patrick et ici le, 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 le patron de l'Irlande c'est Patrick, c'est Saint Patrick. Ah oui. Donc c'est un petit signe aussi pour moi. Et Mama Corsica ça parle de la terre, de la mer, ça parle, ça, ça parle aussi de ma mère à moi. C'est un hymne quoi, c'est une hymne, une hymne à la Corse avec quelques, quelques paroles en français et quelques paroles en Corse et j'espère que ce soir ça, ça passera bien aussi. La chanson a été écrite par, euh, et composée par François Valéry. Oui, qui est une grande star. Euh, Il sera François. là aussi euh, euh, je, je pense que François Valéry euh, viendra, mais personne ne le verra, parce que c'est euh, quelqu'un de très, de très discret, euh, mis à part son métier, parce que bon, là, il a mis quelqu'un d'autre devant, c'est pas lui qui est devant, est, euh, il a envoyé quelqu'un, comme un messager. Mais il sera certainement là, mais je pense que vous ne pourrez pas le voir, il sera vraiment inaccessible. Et la chanson, elle a été écrite spécialement pour l'Eurovision ou... Oui, oui, et spécialement pour l'Eurovision, c'est une chanson qui a été faite en une nuit. Oui. Paroles et musiques ont été créées en une nuit par François Valéry. Et euh, bon, je sais, que, je sais que si François m'entend, euh, euh, ce que j'aimerais moi, c'est lui faire de gros, gros, gros bisous. Et, parce que je sais que je, même pas moi, je vais le voir, je ne vais pas avoir le temps de le voir. Il va venir en, en éclair et je l'embrasse très fort et je le remercie. Here we go.
and Ghana you are singing for Sweden. Could you introduce uh, yourself? Uh, my name is Kasper Jarnebrink and I'm 23 years old and uh, and I'm singing the Swedish contest. Is this your brother? Uh, no, 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 no. The, these two is brothers. Tommy and Kim is brothers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Myself? Yes, I'm Tommy Carlson. And uh, I play the drums in Arvingarna. Are you from Stockholm? No, from Gothenburg. Gothenburg, And you? My name is Kim Carlson, and I'm 21 years old and play the guitars. Beatles grej över det, om jag säger. And you? Who do you see that? Lars Larsson. My name is Lars Larsson, and I play keyboards, and I'm 21 years old. Could you sing us uh, a cappella as a refrain of your song? Only a... Uh, <laughs> Not a refrain, yeah. And Louise, we can work it out together Be changing like the weather So now my heart is yours forever And Louise... Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Only one question. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about your story of song? Oh, the song is um, is a love ballad. It's a ballad that tells a story of a woman who never thought she'd fall in love, but she finally does, and she's really happy she does. That's basically it. And this was a composer wrote a song in 45 minutes. But, uh, well, um, he wrote it over a couple uh, a while, and he it took him a long time to convince me actually to do it. I thought the song was very good, um, and uh, I'm delighted I'm doing it. And what will you do if you're going to win again? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'll tell you after. What's the best? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Bye -bye. Thank you very Thank much. You. Bye bye. Thanks. Ten seconds from now to run, please. Five seconds from music. Four, three, two, one.
Tyydy. Sä haluaisi tietää Eurovision laulukilpailun niin kuin valintasysteemistä Suomessa. Tänä vuonna meillä oli neljä laulajaa ja kahdeksan laulua. Ne had four artists and eight songs. Eli jokaiselle laulajalle henkilökohtaisesti tehtiin kaksi laulua. Two songs for made personally for each artist. Se oli hyvin mielenkiintoinen kilpailu, koska meitä oli neljä suomalaista suosittuja nais naislaulajaa siinä. It was very interesting because four of the most popular uh, female artists in Finland was together. Uh, this is the second time that she sings for Finland? Yes, this is the second time for her. It was... What, what was it? 79. 79. Yeah. 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 Yes. Can she uh, tell us a little bit about the uh, song contest 1979? No, minun mielestä tämä on hyvin samanlainen nyt kuin silloin, mutta mulla itselläni on niin kuin nyt jo semmoinen tutumpi olo täällä. The whole evening is uh, very similar as 1979, uh, but, uh, sorry, uh, he, uh, she feels like uh, p popular with this now at the time. Thank you very much and all the best. Thank you. Thank you. We are very happy to welcome Bosnia in the Eurovision Song Contest. As a song written especially for this contest. This is a love song. In this song you have two messages. One message is from my girl. She mm. was in Sweden because we are both separate. And uh, in the refrain you have a true message for all the people in the world. That means uh, the whole world's pain in Bosnia tonight. I stay here to challenge and to fight. And I'm not afraid to stumble and fall. I never stop to think they cannot take my soul. Thank you.
Sonia, Sonia. Excuse me, Sonia. Can you tell us a about your selection in the United Kingdom? Pardon? Selection in the United Kingdom. I think it's great. I love the song. I think it's very catchy. Uh, it's very boppy. It's instant. Uh, hopefully, it'll do well tonight. Will you release all your songs on the CD? I'm going to release all the songs on a brand new album, which is out on Monday. And it's called Better the Devil, you know. It's got lots of different songs on. And um, hopefully it'll do well. If you win the contest tonight, will it change your lifestyle? It won't change my lifestyle, no. But I think it'll be a, a brilliant credit to Britain, you know. Because it's, it's a fabulous contest and just fingers crossed for me. What are your favourite songs in this year's contest, except your song? Uh, I like uh, Croatia, Spain, um, Switzerland. Thank you, bye-bye. Okay, All thank you. Best. All right. One picture. <laughs> So, hey, you can do more than your best, I say. You had a selection in the Netherlands, yes. and the Vrede won. won the contest. Yeah. What, what is your favorite song? It was one of my favorites. It was one of my, I, had, I loved all the songs that I chose, you know. So, and every song I put my heart and soul in, and uh, it was just, uh, I wished all the composers the best of luck. You know, for all of them, and uh, it was one of the songs that I put my heart in. Will we see all the songs also on the CD? Sorry? You the other songs? They are on the CD. It's already out with all the songs on it. With four extra that were in the race, in the same race. And uh, so it's 12 songs on a CD. Hello. <laughs> 12 songs on a CD. Could you sing us a cappella at the end of the song? Uh, oh, um, we bouwen huizen om er kamen te weerstaan. 
en maken schepen om in elke storm te varen. Er wordt gesleuteld aan een land die nooit kapot zal gaan. Het wil alleen nog niet zo lukken om de vrede te bewaren. I gotta go, I'm gonna miss my bus. Bye bye, thank you. Introduce yourself. Uh, the old group. Yes. Yeah. We are this our name. Croatia. Yeah, we're singing from Croatia. Our name is Put P U T. That means on the road. Uh, we are just a part of a bigger choir that's called Putokazi. That means the road signs. And uh, we, especially for this occasion, we sing this song, the Don't Ever Cry. And uh, we are simple people. We are students. We know how to sing, and we'll try to do the best. And where are you from? We, uh, we are from Croatia, uh, Rijeka. It's our hometown. R I J K A E K A. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you.
Arriba España. Hola. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Deciros algo sobre mí. Sí. Eh, pues estoy contentísima de, de representar este año a mi país y quiero decir que sobre todo el ambiente que hay aquí es buenísimo. Creo que Europa está aquí unida más que nunca. What is your favorite song in this year's Eurovision Song Contest? Eh, tengo algún, varias. Tengo varias. Hay algunas muy buenas, pero no sé si decírtelo. <laughs> And you have the, the most modern songs this year, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sí. <laughs> Could you sing us a little bit of the song? Hombres y mujeres en la intimidad son como dos faros en la oscuridad, como dos misterios para desvelar. Son complementarios como guerra y paz. <laughs> Singing from for Cyprus this year. Yes. What are your favorite songs? Favorite songs. Well, uh, there are so many good songs I can't really decide. I like. Uh, I like everything. I like them all. I like them all very much. I like the contest. <laughs> How many so good uh, songs? We don't know from where to start. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yes. Um, I'm uh, Dimos van Baker. I uh, was born in Cyprus. Uh, my father is from Holland. That's why I get the, the Dutch name. Uh, I grew up in Cyprus. I studied in Cyprus. That's where I did music. I started music when I was nine. I went to the army uh, when I was 17, where I met uh, Kyriakos. We met each other at the army. And then uh, we decided to work together at this uh, piano bar. Then we went to different contests. We went to Thessaloniki, the contest with uh, Europe and uh, Cyprus. And uh, this is our second uh, contest now. I'm Kyriakos Mbulakis. Uh, I'm 20 years old in 10 days. 10 days. <laughs> um, we study music with Dean. Uh, we sing together in a piano bar. And uh, we hoped for a, one good position in Ireland. And Afridiki from last year? Everything. She's uh, also in your delegation this year. Yeah. What is she doing here? She's a very good friend of ours and an amazing uh, singer, performer with a great voice. Uh, she, um, her husband, is the conductor of the uh, Yorgos Delfanos. He's the conductor of our. Mm -hmm. And uh, she came along with him. They're on their honeymoon, actually. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah.
Shalom. Yeah. Is it true that you have an actress in your book? Actress? Yes. All of us, we are actress also. We are acting. Uh, yeah, we are acting also. Uh, we sing and act in shows, in shows for children, for adults. Will you release your song on the CD? Not on the CD, on a tape. On a tape. On a tape. Yeah. You have one? Uh, yes, I have. Ah, you've got one. Okay. Can you tell us a little bit about the song? It's a... Um, it's an international song. It's written about uh, something that uh, in Israel it's very popular uh, to sing together. The people come to halls and they sing together. That's what that it talks about. Yeah. And uh, it's called Shiru Shir. Sing a song. Yeah. That's Thank you very much. Okay. All the best. Okay. Bye. Ah. Thank you.
chanteur, 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 chanteur
det ind med den der.
heck of this? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
international mediators, Lord Owen and Torvald Stoltenberg of the United Nations, have arrived.
Are you um, are you a local? I'm preparing myself, but I've been thinking about it for 20 years now. Oh, it's just you're nearly in part of the, the, the group. Yes. Eileen. Eileen, yes. They've been writing down the morning. Telling you, you can tell them you got it from when I was a winner rather than a... Exactly. Excellent. Exactly. Yeah. I have to think of a smaller name to write. You know, it takes ages to write. Yeah, but I think it's a guy who Thank you very much. Thank you. Sorry. Neve Kavanaugh, you won this year's song contest in Minsk. That's right, yeah. First of all, I would like to congratulate you. Thank you very much. For the beautiful song. Thank Can you. Can you tell us a little bit of uh, the cooperation with you and your composer? The composer? Louis Walsh. Uh, Jimmy Walsh. Uh, Jimmy, Jimmy Walsh. Walsh. Jimmy composed the song um, a couple of years back and he put it into the National con Song Contest um, and he got into the finals and then he contacted me to sing it. Mm -hmm. He's he's entered the national song contest in Ireland four times. And this is his fourth time and he's absolutely thrilled. He's not here actually, I don't know. He seemed to have gone off with the parties but he um He's be, he finally entered this one and he let me arrange it the way I wanted for my voice, which was fantastic. You know, not many writers will let you do what you like with a song. And um, he was he was fantastic about that. So we um, we collaborated on the song and it obviously it worked because we won the national um, two points off the maximum. We got 12 points from nine of the counties and uh, 10 from one county. The poor county nearly died when they found that there were only 10. But um, and then tonight, obviously, last minute, you know, last vote. I mean, it was oh, my heart was beating 20 times as fast as it normally does. It was fantastic. What was your favorite song except the Irish entry? It's hard to say because I liked so many different performances and there were so many good songs and good performers in it this year. I really did think so. I mean, I didn't think we were going to win. I know that sounds a bit silly now because, you know, it sounds, but I really didn't think I was going to win. Um, I thought, you know, I, I thought the Norwegian girl was so beautiful. I really did. Um, I thought the um, the Maltese guy sang very much like a, the music I like, and the Dutch woman was absolutely amazing. Uh, the Swedish group were fantastic. The I mean, Sonia I know is a fantastic performer. I mean, there were so many. I mean, you could sit here and name every single one of them. I mean, the Bosnians, Croatians, and Slovenians were very good songs, and they put in great performances, and they they gave a lot to come over, and it was absolutely fantastic. And they were they were very good to me. I mean, all the delegates were very good to me all all the time, all during the week. And uh, it was just, it was fantastic, absolutely fantastic. I can't, I can't even explain it, but I, I can't really pick one song that I really liked because I liked so many for so many different reasons. Will RG organize the contest next year again in Ireland? I have no idea. I mean, that would be an RT decision, obviously. I think I, I think I would love it to be in Ireland, but um, we don't know. You know, we don't know what's going to happen, so we'll have to wait and see. You know? Can you tell us a little bit about your private life? Ooh. Where are you from? And oh my God, my private life. I don't know if I can tell you that. Um, I'm uh, from Dublin in Ireland. I was born there and uh, I've lived there all my life. Uh, my parents are not from Dublin, they're from Kilcullen and, and, Wick and Wicklow, which are two kind of surrounding counties. Um, I have three sisters and they're all, and I have a niece and nephew and I have loads of family all over the place. You wouldn't believe it. I've been adopted by so many people, it's ridiculous. Um, I'm working in a bank at the moment. I don't know for how much longer, but I will be working there for a while anyway. Um, I've been singing for about seven years. Well, I've been singing a long time, actually. I've been singing since I was a child, you know, at, at weddings and, you know, singing in choirs and all that. But I've been singing in bands for about seven years now, you know, and uh, I was on the Commitments album. Ah, oh, yes. Yes. I have it. You have it. Yes. I sang two songs on the first album, mm -hmm. which is Destination Anywhere and Do Right Woman, Do Right Man. Um, I sang them both on the first album and Nowhere to Run on the second, which was fantastic. But, um, I, you know, that that would be my private life at the moment. And my boyfriend, who is, isn't here at the moment, but uh, he had other engagements in Dublin, which he had to he had to do. And I'll see him when I get home. Thank you very much, and I wish you all the best for the future. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Bye. There's nothing more awkward than somebody putting on here on your face.
to see us through.